One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so step number one, we want to actually remove the gear knob. And you can do that, just get an adjustable spanner, just round this bit here, adjust it up, and you can actually loosen the gear knob like so. And what we want to do is remove that. Easy. Okay, so next step, you want to move this plastic surrounding. Now I had to have a bit of a wrestle with it, that much so, I had to take my jumper off, so I got what I did, I got my hand in here, I really had to kind of pull up like that, and that then allows you to get the plastic surround off, so you've then exposed, exposed that there. easy okay so at this point now that everything is off what you really don't want to do is lose anything so I'm just gonna screw that back on there I can't lose it and also remember if you drop something down there you probably ain't gonna get it back quickly so you don't want to do that okay so just be very careful okay so the next step is we want to re remove this kind of armrest here and all that so to do that you've got a number of these on each side find every single one we want to unscrew all those you've got one there you do have one in behind the seat there and we also have got one down there got one there we do have one in there as well I don't know if you saw that one but you get the gist so next step let's get those out I'll join you once I've done that. Okay, so we actually pulled out five of these and uh, there was actually only four of the bolts that I needed to take out. The one near the driver's pedals is actually for the front section, so you don't actually need to take that out. But again, uh, I'm just keeping everything safe. Put it in there and the bolts actually look like this. The ones that you need to take out. So. What we need to do next is actually get this uh, armrest up and, and kind of off, I suppose. So we have to be careful not to pull it up too high because the connector for the cigarette lighter could snap. So what I'm going to do is get that out and then get this off. That was easy enough. It's literally just a slide out bolt um, that disconnects from the actual cigarette lighter panel. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to get this off now. This should be a bit of a should have emptied the uh, should really have emptied the uh, armrest. It's full of just crap. So I'm going to place that there so that is the armrest it's uh, full of all my stuff it's all out right so the armrest is out this is kind of what you kind of gives you the space now you can see everything in there and armrest just there Look how much rubbish is in there but yeah anyway so yeah armrest is out I'm gonna give all that a clean I mean look at all that Ugh. give it a clean and then we'll get the get to the good stuff get that short shifter on okay so you do have to actually remove this front bit as well now to get to that you'll find on this side you've got that there and it's a pull out bolt it's a little bolt like that I just used a screwdriver kind of flicked it out so again I'm going to try and keep that safe I believe on the other side um, at the somewhere 
yeah there's another one on the other side to get that out as well so I'll get them out get the front bit of the dash out Alright, so it always sounds like you're breaking something when you do that, so um, just got to be a little bit careful, especially if you've got like a, so I've got an AUX cable, so you just want to make sure that you slide that through there carefully, but now we've got a nice big space to work from, show you, um, nice big Space to work from, and the dash is out. So I think that was steps four, five, and six. But at least you've seen it, and yeah, that's what it looks like under here. So let's get it started. Okay, so next step is we need to remove and expose the ball joint which is just on these clips here you'll see there's like a little, these little clips they uh, spread, pull them both at the same time and you better pull that off so we'll get that done now and easy peasy It'll just expose this little bit here. I don't know if you can see that. It'll expose that. Now that you've done that, you then need to use this tool to remove the that part there. So uh, I've never actually used this tool before, as you can probably see. <laughs> um, but yeah, what you do is this this pulls this tool pulls that out we'll be back with you when I've done that okay so just to confirm to remove that this blue clip that was on there I had to pull pretty hard now what I did is I clipped it on like that and I had to get two hands just on it like this and probably had to pull it about 60 percent 60 75 percent I had to pull quite hard so don't be scared of doing that and this one here, it didn't break because we will need to reuse that later. Okay, so next we need to remove these bolts. These ones here, there's three. You see one, two, three. Now, for me, it's a, it's a 12 mil bolt that needs to be used to remove them. So get them all loosened and removed. Now should really release this, which is the white. It's a white clip. You can take that off. That'll just help it. Just make maybe make it a bit easier for you. Not necessary, um, but yeah, 
that bit there is just on the passenger side of the gear shuttle so the gear mechanism um, so yeah you can take that off that should make it just a bit easier for you to get in between in between there so okay it's all been loosened it's quite a big wrench this spanner so it's uh, a little bit fiddly get these get these bolts off so you've got one off that's what it will look like and I'll repeat for the other three and I'll be back with you then right so next you want to get these rubber kind of bushes out now I find these a little bit fiddly so I've actually had to get like kind of two screwdrivers uh, you want to try always try. right now I'm not gonna lie getting that top bush out was a bugger so I'll show you a little trick I bent this just to the left and that just allowed me to so this hole here I made sure I could push some it through that you guys can see it so just through there what you'll see is that there I was just able to push that through like so okay Right, I'll see you in the next step. Okay, so we now want to refit these. Now these are the ones that come with the short shifter itself. They actually replace the rubber original OEM uh, bushes. So we're gonna put them in. Now you notice that I've got some white tack around there. Now that's just gonna help me keep it in there. So I've got one in already. And because you've got to do a lot of moving, if you didn't have anything sticking it in, it would more than likely just fall out between getting it in there and getting the bolts on. Now, if you don't have white tack and you've already started this, uh, you can be a little bit cheeky and use, use chewing gum. Um, because this doesn't actually hold anything in place permanently the bolts are going to do that it is literally temporarily just to get this in so that you can bolt it bolt it on uh, properly so they are all held in place what I'm now going to do get the bolts in get these in so I'll show you closer what I'm doing Let's take the camera off the tripod to show you so what I'm now actually doing is I'm just I've used the blue tack to hold those in there one two three I'm now just screwing these back in. Just think finger tight. At the moment. Then there is three of those. Just make sure they're Like so, so once they're in, we'll move on to the next step, I'll get them tight.
so like I say don't over tighten them at this point because we are gonna have to do a like a test test fit and we just wanna we might have to take them back off if something isn't right Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get to the main part of the short shifter install now we're going to replace the cap that was on here this is now going to go onto this bit now you can you may find you may have to use a vise to get that on that's what I'm going to do um, and just you know just clamp it get the pressure you should click on but if you are feeling a bit strong you should you might be able to just get it and push it on like so so once that's done we'll get on to the next bit oh also don't forget to grease it get some WD-40 or something like that just get some spray on grease on the top there and also I'd lube it in there as well okay so now what we want to do is install the short shift mechanism to the end of the gear stick so that goes in and where uh, then we just use the allen key tool just to get that right now this is supposed to be very very tight now what i've done is i've greased that and i've greased that hence why i've got this glove on now just to keep my hand a little less greased but it is super slippy so just want to make sure you get that on nice and tight And ideally you want this to line up central so this slot here this slit is central and want it tight that you don't want to strip the thread what we now need to do is get them catch back on which is this so that catch needs to go back on there we also need to get this back on there now what I'll now do is I'll now put the gear knob back on and I will just test to make sure that none of the gears catch and I read online that sometimes second fourth reverse can catch so what you want to do is I'm going to get into the driver's seat now I'm going to test the gears and make sure that this bit here isn't catching on the plastic okay so just doing the test I've noticed that so it is actually catching so second catches fourth catches you see see what it is it's just that there it's catching it's just rubbing on that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back off I'm just going to file away a little bit of that plastic there just so then the gear change is a lot smoother so I'll be back with you one more time once I've done that and hopefully we'll be nearly finished Right, so I've been now filing just in that that gap there. It's in there, and it's probably I didn't think I'd have to file as much or take as much off to get it to fit through, but it now has you know, it now fits. So I've probably been filing for about a good 20 minutes, 
Um, so yeah, a lot of filing. So just be prepared to have to file for a bit. But now what you'll notice is yeah. Sweet. So so yeah, it's uh, a lot shorter. So now I'm just going to get everything back on, give it a bit of a tidy up. And then we'll probably, I'd recommend going for a test drive, going for a spin, just make sure everything's okay. But the main thing is just making sure that's not catching. So we'll get everything back on. And see how it goes from there, I suppose. So, the jack speed short shifter is fitted. Just taking it just for that test spin now. Uh, and surprisingly, um, for what, 15 pounds, the change is it's awesome. Like, I don't know why I didn't do it first. The gear throw, when they say it feels you know, 40% shorter, like it, it, it certainly does reduce the throw by at least 40%. Now, what I'll do now, I'll just show you a, a few gear changes, just so you can see for yourself. And, uh, and yeah, I definitely recommend you go get yourself one. <laughs> We'll conclude the video there. I want to thank you for your support. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you all found it useful. If you have found it useful, please like, please share, please subscribe. That way I know that I am making stuff that you guys want to see and stuff that is helpful. So again, if you haven't got one of these installed to your car, it's possibly one of the most effective, most affordable parts. Now, don't be put off by the cost. An actual short shifter kit has not a lot of material. So in fairness, what you pay for what you get, uh, you know, you are in a way spending a lot on for what you actually physically get. But the feel, the feedback, and how it just changes the car, uh, it's something you pay two, three, four hundred pounds for. So until next time, keep it stealthy. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone all.